All right, it is your boy CK. I have a topic for you today um, about automating the process of what you eat. Um, it's something I've been working towards ever since I started working with my coach, what, four months ago or something. And I will say it takes a little bit to get set in, but once you have um, what I'm going to talk about is what I call bookends, right? If Once you have the couple things, I have a morning and I have an evening and I'm filling in the middle, but like I have these bookends, it really helps me to automate my process, my morning and my evening routine because these are things that I look forward to and I know that I'm going to be including them. And so it helps me to build the rest of my day around them food wise, but also routine wise. Okay. So let's talk about the morning first and then we'll talk about the evening, um, which is actually kind of the pre morning, right? Because the evening sets you up for the morning. So maybe I should talk about the evening first. Huh? All right. So let's talk about the morning before the morning, the evening. Have I confused you yet? I'm confusing myself. No, I'm just kidding. So evening, I have every single night, a cup of um, chai tea with, I would call like a bulletproof style tea. It's got, uh, coconut oil. It's got Kerrygold butter. It's got collagen powder. It's got a raw egg and some honey. And I put that in the blender. I put the hot tea in there, zip it up and it's frothy and it's freaking delicious. And I love it. And it fits into my numbers and it helps me to kind of soothe myself and and get wound down for the evening i look forward to it i know it's there it's easy for me to eat to drink to make and it starts you know it, it allows me then to plug those numbers in to my day and know that i can subtract those 20 grams of protein from my total for the day okay um I'm not going to get into nighttime routine because we'll talk about that on a whole separate video. I just wanted to talk about the food part and, call, and the bookends, right? So um, in the morning, the first thing that I do, and if, if I'm really killing it, I'm talking about nighttime routine, I'm going to have this made. So I'm probably going to go make it right now. So all I have to do is add the coffee in the morning. It just, that makes it even easier. I have my, I, I call it like my power shake. And this is an easy way for me to get 50 grams of protein in right at the start of the day so that I'm not chasing protein. So now I've already got the 20 grams in the evening and the 50 there, I'm already at 70 grams. That's huge. I have to eat about 200 grams for my body uh, size and the amount of muscle I have. All of my clients, it's the hardest thing they have to do. They get, you gotta hit your protein number. It's, it's like a non-negotiable. I hate, I get frustrated. I won't say I don't hate, but I get frustrated with people that will bust their ass in the gym, they'll do all kind of work, but they won't hit their protein number. Um, and it's like the most important thing by far is if you're trying to get lean, you have to have a certain amount of protein. There's really two things, you gotta eat protein and you have to lift weight. So I don't care if you're riding your Peloton, if you're hitting Orange Theory, even if you're doing CrossFit and you're just going ham and you're doing all this extra shit and you're doing all kind of cardio type stuff, if you're not doing, dedicated strength training, you're not gonna build lean muscle tissue and you're not gonna get the, that dramatic body comp shift that we see inside of our gym, okay? With our programs and what we do with our custom programming. You're just not because that strength is the foundation. The conditioning is the conditioning. You can do that any way you want. I don't really care, but I'm digressing, okay? So the protein, the strength. If we're talking about the protein. I'm getting 70 grams out of my 200 that are already accounted for. I know once I work out in the morning, I can get an easy quick 20 grams after the workout in the form of a shake and some other fast digesting carbs. And then I got a breakfast that's pretty much set. I either do my Ezekiel bread French toast, which I'm in love with right now, or I'll do some kind of eggs, broccoli, um, Ezekiel, you know, just plain toast, or I've been doing some of those uh, protein pancakes, those are really good. So whatever it is, but I've got a carb, I've got protein, I've got my veggie. So I've got those meals locked in. And so if I'm hitting my numbers on those things, I know what those are. It allows me to figure out what I can eat for lunch and dinner. And if I need to have a snack or just how it works, I basically 
trim down the amount of meals or the things that I need to be concerned with for the day. Does that make sense? So when I've locked in my bookends, instead of me having to think about, I've got to eat five or six meals, where are they all gonna come from? How am I gonna do it? What am I gonna prep? So I've taken away pretty much the bookends on both sides. After a workout is gonna be the same no matter what, right? I do 20 grams of protein and then I do, you know, probably about between 30 and 50 grams of simple carbs. So I get that in and then I usually go home and eat a meal right after I work out. That's just kind of my routine, but like those numbers, boom, boom, boom. Now I'm starting to piece it in and there's only a couple things left. Um, so the reason I bring it up is, it's just like if you've ever heard of um, people talk about Steve Jobs, where it's like he wore like black, like every day he just had like the one outfit and it was like, it take away that decision fatigue and he didn't waste any brain power ever thinking about what he was gonna wear. He could, he was only focusing his attention on other things that were more important to him or that mattered to him. That piece, he automated it so that it was out of his way. So what I'm trying to get you guys to think about here and what I've learned, right? I'm not trying to take credit for the idea, but what I've learned from my coach is like, the more that I can automate that, the less decision fatigue I have and the less chance I have to fuck up to be honest, right? Because then it's like, oh, maybe I'll do this. And it's like, oh shit, that had way more fat in it than I thought, or oh man, I want this, you know? It's just, it's what we do. And the reason that this book ends and kind of this idea of automating these choices is so important is because the, um, the more things that, the more time that we can be disciplined and build this frame, then the more, flexibility that we earn, okay? So by me being willing to eat the same exact thing every time and it's all good stuff, so that like 90% of the time I am spot on, that allows me to have the flexibility to have an alcohol drink, have ice cream, have uh, go out and have you know a, a dinner out with my wife or with a friend and get whatever I want. Do I do that stuff? Not really very often, um, you know, haven't drank in, in almost a full year. But the point is, for me to be able, we do have pizza every week. Like, we do have pizza every single week. So I will say that. I have a freaking small sausage and green pepper pizza from Windy City. I eat a whole thing myself. The kids and the wife get a, a cheese and something else, but that's my jam, and I eat the whole thing. That's every Friday night. So... By being willing to do the discipline work, then you earn the right to do whatever you want. You don't just get to do whatever you want until you've put in those deposits over and over again. And I've been eating broccoli for breakfast for freaking 30 years. So I have a lot in my bank built up and I, I've walked around a single digit body fat for as long as I can remember. And a part of that's genetics, but I mean, I have uncles that are, have, you know, were really skinny when they were in high school and college and they got really fat. Like it, it's not necessarily genetics. It is, it's what you're putting in and, and you're basically think about it like you're building up this bank account and the more deposits you make and the bigger that bank account goes, the more money you have to take out of withdrawal. And the withdrawal would be, you know, going and doing something that's not necessarily aligned with your goals, but you're using that build up to pay it off. Eventually that bank account is going to go dry if you're just constantly going against your goal, against your goal. So I want to have, you know, drinks every single week. It's going to be, you know, or if I want to go really good for four or five days, but then I want to have two, two drinks. Then next week I want to go good for four days and I have two drinks. Like you need to go good for four weeks, six weeks, you know, four months. And now you're starting to add those in and they don't really, add, they're like a blip on the radar. But at the beginning you haven't put those deposits in. And so... The more you deposit, the more flexibility you get, okay? So automation, creating these bookends every single day so that you don't have to think about it and you have your meals set, critical. And then the more you do that, the more you do that over and over again, week after week after week, then the more you can take out and do whatever you want, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, that discipline pays off. Um, I just wanted to talk about it kind of tactically. Um, been talking a lot, you know, I like to get like a little heady and talk about the spiritual and all the philosophical stuff, but like from a daily 
routine perspective, you know, having that nighttime snack, that morning snack, that post-workout and putting those into your numbers and then seeing what you're left with, like that really, really helps. And then being willing to do the same thing or similar over and over again, learn for your body to crave that good stuff, like give yourself time to build that routine and find out what's right for you, tweak, adjust, but keep that in mind. And um, I think it'll pay off dividends big time. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.